Thank you all for coming. We've been, uh, Mitch and I have been doing classes for Unity Gardens uh, for over a decade. And so we're excited to share that knowledge base. Uh, the Mishawaka Library has been kind enough to invite us and kind of expose us to new people. So we're pretty proud of that. Just as a frame of reference, the Unity Gardens is a dignified free food model, absolutely unprecedented in our world. About 13 years ago, we started by just growing free gardens. People are welcome to come without proving that they're in high need or worthy. And so by connecting people to healthy, fresh food and the joy of nature and even each other, uh, we're growing community through 40 free pet gardens. Um, it is my pleasure to introduce Mitch Yashu, who is a master gardener, a master naturalist, and certified in permaculture. We like to start off by saying that we really love our bugs because 99% of our bugs are perfectly fine. They don't bother anybody. But we've got about 10, or maybe less, that bother us in the garden. So when you see those pretty white butterflies out by your kale, um, they're really not pretty white butterflies. They're laying <laughs> eggs on your kale. The squash bugs, now these are our second worst nightmare. So they, they, they can do some damage, but they're not. They're, they're not something you can't get rid of. So right now we're dealing with this one. So if you're growing potatoes, I would also suggest that you go out and you look at the potato leaves. And so our number one control method, um, we go and we turn up the leaves and we look at if there's potato, if there's eggs on it, and it will be the potato bug and it'll be kind of orangish. And typically there shouldn't be anything else laying its eggs on there. Um, and we just cut the leaf off and pitch the leaf. So we want it to lose already this year on the leaves. What's that? Yeah, they're typically on the other side. I, I won't say never because once they're live seed on the top, but typically they're on the bottom side. Um, and that's the best way of control. Um, changing planting time sometimes works. You can plant a little later, a little bit earlier to try to thwart that cycle. The other thing is you can use companion plants. And a lot of this is, um, is just smell. So, and it also will attract the beneficial insects. Pop marigolds are also another thing that you can plant around them. What this is doing is it's inviting in these predatory wasps and ladybugs. They all love the little flowers. So you're inviting them into your garden um, because, you know, for your insects, your beneficial insects need to have food all season long. 